Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Welcome to this class and in this class I shall explain about little bit uh, neutralization reaction and you know this is the part of chapter acid base and balance in earlier classes I explained about acid the properties of acid base and alkali the properties of base and alkali and then the conception of pH or the power of hydrogen in this tutorial I shall simply explain that what is happening when an acid and base undergoes a reaction we know simply that when acid acid undergoes reaction with base then it produces salt and water so we know it uh, simply because we have studied in uh, our class of uh, chemical reaction and in the types of chemical reaction there was a uh, neutralization reaction and you know uh, that you know this one so if we see some reactions about it that uh, what are the acids think about acids like mm, uh, simply like if we start from hydrochloric acid a nitric acid then sulfuric acid uh, then I think about uh, carbonic acid there are a lot of acids but these are mostly inorganic acid so these are the acid I hope you already know what is the acid the definition of it and the properties of concentrated and dilute acid so these are acid now think about base what is base so among them if we took like a different base like sodium hydroxide zinc oxide aluminium oxide then uh, calcium hydroxide then you th think about it, what should be the reaction and what are the product what are the product think about it this is hcl so this is hydrochloric acid if it goes reactions with sodium hydroxide what would be the production this is H plus and this is chlorine sodium plus and hydroxyl if it is so then sodium chloride will be the production which is salt so in the products part it would be sodium chloride and water this is very simple reaction okay but when the chemical reaction should be balanced in both sides like reactant and product part then we need to multiply it by some sort of uh, numbers think about it this is zinc and this is nitric acid you know that nitric acid will dissolve H plus and nitrate zinc and oxide so in this uh, chemical reaction zinc will uh, react with nitrate that will produce zinc nitrate and you see this is nitrate 2 so two molecules of nitrate are there so here it should be 2 zinc nitrate plus plus H2O which is water so nitrate is 2 and that is why hydrogen becomes 2 two numbers would be added so nitric acid it will take H2O and this is the production which is combust and you know that salt and water will be produced think about it aluminium sulfate we know the we know uh, the uh, formula of aluminium sulfate is this so sulfate will be 3 so here the sulfate is only 1 so if you think 3 so there are 6 hydrogen and 3 oxygen that will produce 3 molecules of water and in this case this is carbonic acid and this is calcium hydroxide so you know that calcium carbonate will be the production will be the production and then this will be like 2H2O 2 molecule of hydrogen water so simply I have given you this example of just um, for example and now you can you can practice number of uh, reactions based on neutralization reactions if you want then you can use number of base with single acids so if you took 10 base as an example or alkaline as an example 10 base or alkaline and react with one two three four even five acid so there would be 50 reactions uh, your neutralization reaction and what are the use of it simply 
the, the use of the use of neutralizations, the use of neutralization reaction in our day-to-day -day life, number one is diization, diization What is this? You know we have a stomach and in the stomach there is an oxygenic cell from where the HCl or hydrochloric acid is secreted every single moment. If we have any sort of disorder or the discipline, I mean, I mean, uh, sort of food disorder here inside, so when acid secretion is higher, when more acid is produced but stomach is not getting food, then it creates pain inside and it's become corrosive. You know that uh, the functions or the properties of acid is corrosive. This hydrochloric acid is reacting with the wall of the stomach then what will happen? Then it is necessary to take antacid. We know that antacid is commonly found in the pharmacy. So we need to take antacids. And what is the most commonly used antacid is magnesium hydroxide. Magnesium hydroxide and aluminium hydroxide. So you know that this is also the example of neutralization reaction. So magnesium hydroxide or aluminum hydroxide is reacting with hydrochloric acid. So what would be the reaction? You see that hydrochloric acid is reacting with magnesium hydroxide and again hydrochloric acid is reacting with aluminum, aluminum hydroxide. So what would be the reaction? Think about it. Hydrogen will be positive and chlorine negative. Magnesium positive, chlorine negative. So in this case, magnesium will add with chlorine that will produce magnesium chloride, Cl2. So this is 2. So it must be 2 here. And this 2 hydrogen will add with this 2 hydrogen will produce 2 molecules of water. So this is also an neutralization reaction. Think about it. Aluminum will accept chlorine and will produce aluminium chloride. Now, if, if you have a question, why it is AlCl3? Why? Then I just request you to watch my other videos, which is about chemical formula, how it will happen. So this is Cl3. So this would be three. Again, this would be three molecule of water. So this is simply the example of neutralization reaction and this is also given in your book. I hope you enjoy the class and of course please practice more and more tutorial, I mean more and more reactions like neutralization reactions and hopefully I'm coming up with another part of this chapter later on. Take care, stay well, study well.